Hello and welcome to Mrs C Does and today Mrs C Does Loopy Limericks. Okay, so we're going to have a go at writing our own limericks. Bit of fun that you might have in the summer holidays. And first of all, we'll remind ourselves what a limerick is. Okay, so it's a short poem. It's five lines long. Lines one, two and five must rhyme and lines three and four must also rhyme. Okay, so how do I get started when I'm writing a limerick? Let me just show you. So I might come up with my first line, oh, how I'd love to live on the moon. I then don't think about my second, third, fourth, fifth line straight away. I start gathering words that rhyme with moon. Okay, and it's the same sound. It doesn't matter how it's spelled. It has to be the same sound. So if I just go through the alphabet and I think, you know, A, B, C, oh, Dune. So I might have Dune. Okay. Um, June. Okay. Noon. Um, soon. Are you thinking of all these as well? Spoon. Um, tune. And now and again, I might eat a prune. Okay, so you can see some of the sounds um, have the double O and some have the U and the E, but they both make the OO sounds. But this isn't a phonics lesson, so I shall carry on. So I might then think about what words do I want to use that rhyme with moon to then put together my next few lines. Okay, let me show you what I came up with then. Okay, so my limerick. Oh, how I'd love to live on the moon and fly there on a plastic spoon. Life could be so good living in that starry neighbourhood. I hope I can get there real soon. Okay, so you can see that lines one and two and five all rhyme. You can also see that lines three and four also rhyme, but they must never rhyme with lines one, two and five. Okay, I'm going to have another go now. See if you can think of some words for me. Now, you mustn't tell my mum about this limerick. So there's a woman I know called Mum. So let me think of some words that rhyme with Mum. Okay, so brum, like a car, crumb, I want my mum to come and see me. What about rum? Mm, yum. Thumb. Okay, so I will start collecting my words, maybe some, okay, that rhyme with mum. So I can put together lines one, four and five before I probably think about three and four. Let me show you what limerick I came up with about my mum. Okay. There's a woman I know called Mum, who has the most enormous bum. It's because of the cake she loves to bake and bake, but who can blame her? It tastes so yum. So you can see again that lines one and two and five all rhyme, and lines three and four also rhyme with each other, but not with lines one, two and five. Okay, so, have a go at writing some limericks, have fun over the summer, creating your poetry, and I hope you've enjoyed that today. Don't tell my mum, and I'll see you next time for Mrs C Does. Bye!